Today we embark on a profound journey into one of the most captivating and revered mysteries of the Catholic faith, the incorruptible bodies of the saints. Have you ever pondered the enigma of these bodies that, even after death, remain intact, showing no signs of decomposition? This extraordinary phenomenon is often associated with Catholic saints, whose holiness in life is mirrored by the miraculous condition of their bodies after death. Among these saints, one name shines brightly Padre Pio. Padre Pio is a beloved and respected figure among the faithful, renowned for his works and miracles, yet also a target of severe criticism. The question that arises, is it true that Padre Pio's body remains intact after all these years? Is the body we see in the large crystal urn real? Today I will unveil the truth about Padre Pio's body, exhibited in the crypt sanctuary, and I am confident that the answer will astonish you. Pay close attention, for what I am about to share is of utmost importance. After Padre Pio's death, his body did not undergo the expected decomposition. Instead, it appears that his body merely dried up, with his hands darkened, but without signs of rot. However, there is a notable exception. To better understand this situation, let us, situation, let us explore the exhumation of Padre Pio's body and the observations made by Monsignor Juan Rolfo Lays, a bishop of the same Capuchin Franciscan community to which Padre Pio belonged. Monsignor Lays was present throughout the exhumation process which lasted until dawn and was led by the Bishop of Manfredonia, San Giovanni Rotondo. The opening of the tomb was a significant event. First, a heavy marble covering was removed, revealing the tomb. Then, a zinc plate attached to the glass was removed, allowing access to the tomb, which was carefully transferred to a reinforced room where it remained for 21 days. Only Vatican specialists had access to this room where they prepared the body for exhibition in a crystal urn. During this period, Padre Pio's body was meticulously examined to determine its state of incorruptibility. Specialists conducted various medical and forensic tests to confirm the miracle. Let us hear the full report and the surprising announcement of Monsignor Lays on this matter. Monsignor Lays reported I was present at the exhumation, which lasted until 1 a.m. The Bishop of the Diocese of Manfredonia, San Giovanni Rotondo, guided the process. It was four hours of prayer and praise to the Lord, the author of all good. The main part of the event was the opening of Padre Pio's tomb. After lifting the heavy marble cover that covered the tomb, it was time for the zinc plate attached to the glass, which enabled access to the tomb. Still closed, it was carefully moved to the room, whose doors were reinforced to guard the holy body until it was placed in a crystal urn, which is now displayed in honor of the faithful. He continued the body, remained in this room for 21 days. Only Vatican experts could enter it, who were engaged in preparing the body of the blessed or saints in urns, where the faithful remained to be honored. I could talk to the person responsible for the conservation of the body, which was carried out using special substances. However, when it is displayed in public, it is inevitable that the degradation process begins. That is why it is preserved in such a way that it remains in the state it was in, which is wonderful. And, and conservation aims to maintain this state, otherwise the body would be degraded, not because it is rotting, because then there would be no miracle, but so that it could be kept in public honor. And now, something surprising. Although Padre Pio's body was largely intact, there were significant damages to his face. The water infiltration into the tomb caused degradation of the face and neck. Monsignor Lays related that despite this infiltration, there was no unpleasant smell, which is typical for decomposition processes. On the contrary, there was a pleasant smell, another proof of the wonderful condition of the body. He said, when I talked to the responsible, they told me that the body of Padre Pio is intact. The damage was only touched by the part of the neck, that is, the whole face and neck, due to the water infiltration that got to the tomb. That is why his face was covered with a mask made in London, in accordance with his natural features. Yes, you heard well. The face we see today on the body of Padre Pio is covered with a mask made in London, based on his natural wrinkles. Did you know about it? Share your answer in the comments. Lays also emphasized that although Padre Pio's face was damaged by water, the rest of his body remained intact and without an unpleasant smell. It was a great sign of his wonderful condition. The director said in other cases, one can smell an unpleasant smell when the person is already in a visible condition of decomposition caused by the natural process of decomposition of the body. But in the case of Padre Pio, he didn't notice any unpleasant sensations due to the state of body's non-violence. On April 24, 2008, during the process of singing the Litany of All Saints, the body was transferred to the crypt, 
where it is exhibited for public honor. True crowds began to visit San Giovanni Rotondo to see the body of Padre Pio and ask for his donation. The body was presented and public worship began, attracting many people who were witnesses of the wonderful condition of Padre Pio's body. At this moment, it is natural that you ask yourself the question, why did God allow the water to damage the face of Padre Pio? I have a hypothesis on this subject. It may be a sign of the persecutions that Padre Pio experienced in life and still experiences after death. It may be a way to remind that glory should be directed to God, not only to human miracles. Padre Pio is remembered for his devotion to the Mother of God and God, and his miracles still inspire many. He himself said that he would make more noise after death than after life, and it became the truth. His unbroken body is a constant testimony of his holiness. Padre Pio, born Francesco Fulgioni, was an Italian Capuchin friar who became famous for bearing the stigmata for most of his life. His life was marked by deep spirituality, profound faith, and numerous miracles. He was known for his ability to read souls, bilocate, and heal the sick through his prayers. Despite his extraordinary gifts, Padre Pio faced numerous trials and persecutions throughout his life. His stigmata which appeared on his body in 1918, were a source of both fascination and skepticism. Many saw them as a sign of his deep union with Christ, while others questioned their authenticity. Padre Pio endured investigations and restrictions from the church, yet he remained steadfast in his faith and devotion. His life was a testament to the power of perseverance and unwavering trust in God. The miracles attributed to Padre Pio are countless. People from all walks of life have reported healings, conversions, and other extraordinary events through his intercession. And his ability to bilocate or be in two places at once allowed him to comfort and assist those in need, even when he was physically elsewhere. His gift of reading souls enabled him to provide spiritual guidance and comfort to countless individuals. One of the most famous miracles involves a young girl named Gemma Di Gorgi. Gemma was born blind and doctors had declared her condition incurable. Her parents, desperate for a cure, sought the intercession of Padre Pio. After praying fervently to him, Gemma's sight was miraculously restored. This and many other miracles have solidified Padre Pio's reputation as a powerful intercessor and a beacon of hope for the faithful. Padre Pio's spiritual legacy extends far beyond his miracles. His teachings and writings continue to inspire and guide millions of people around the world. He emphasized the importance of prayer, penance and charity in the life of a Christian. His devotion to the Eucharist and the Blessed Virgin Mary was unwavering, and he encouraged others to cultivate a deep love for these sacred mysteries. His famous phrase, pray, hope and don't worry, encapsulates his approach to life and faith. Padre Pio believed that through prayer and trust in God, one could overcome any obstacle. His life was a living example of this belief as he faced numerous trials and persecutions with unshakable faith and courage. The devotion to Padre Pio has grown exponentially since his death. Millions of people visit his shrine in San Giovanni Rotondo each year, seeking his intercession and spiritual guidance. His incorruptible body, displayed in the crypt sanctuary, serves as a powerful reminder of his holiness and the miraculous power of God. The faithful gather to pray, to seek healing, and to offer their petitions to Padre Pio. His intercession is sought for a wide range of needs, from physical healings to spiritual conversions. The testimonies of those who have experienced his miraculous interventions are a source of hope and inspiration for many. The phenomenon of incorruptible bodies is not unique to Padre Pio. Throughout history, numerous saints have been found to have bodies that remain intact long after their deaths. This miraculous preservation is seen as a sign of their holiness and the favor of God. It serves as a tangible reminder of the power of faith and the reality of the supernatural. Incorruptible bodies are a testament to the belief that the saints, through their lives of virtue and devotion, have achieved a state of grace that transcends the natural laws of decay. They are a visible manifestation of the promise of eternal life and the resurrection of the body. As we look to the future, the legacy of Padre Pio continues to grow and inspire new generations of faithful. His teachings and miracles serve as a beacon of hope in a world that often seems dark and uncertain. His example of unwavering faith and devotion reminds us that with God's grace we too can overcome the challenges and trials of life. The devotion to Padre Pio is not confined to any one place or time. It transcends borders and cultures, uniting people from all walks of life in a shared faith and hope. 
His intercession is sought by millions around the world and his miraculous interventions continue to bring comfort and healing to those in need. The history of the unbroken body of Padre Pio is an amazing testimony of faith and miracles. Despite the destruction of the face by water, the general condition of his body is perceived as a sign of his holiness. Public adoration of his body still attracts thousands of faithful confirming faith in the miracle and holiness of Padre Pio. Sharing such stories helps to maintain faith and devotion. Padre Pio blesses everyone who knows him and draws inspiration from his life dedicated to God. The history of his unbroken body is a powerful reminder of the divinity in our daily life. Let us continue to learn from his example and keep the flame of faith. There are many ways to increase the devotion of Padre Pio. Holy and powerful Saviour, we come back to you at the moment of our need. You who bore the stigmas of Christ and sacrificed your suffering for the good of souls, we now ask for your intercession. Holy Father Pio, with your great faith and love, stand before us before the throne of God. Give us grace so that we can face our enemies with courage and trust in Jesus, help us feel the consoling presence of the Lord and find peace among the storms of life. Let us receive the blessing we need so much through your intercession. Holy Padre Pio, pray for us and lead us closer and closer to the heart of Jesus. I hope this explanation will help you better understand the miracle of the non-existing body of Padre Pio. Share this story, participate in the celebrations to his honour and keep a living dedication. Padre Pio will still bless everyone who is looking for his devotion, showing that his holiness is beyond time and circumstances. And remember, my brothers and sisters, that the signs of the times are manifesting. The faith in Padre Pio and in his miracles is a beacon of hope in a world increasingly darkened by doubt and sin. May the devotion to this saint be a shield against temptations and a guide to salvation. For, as Padre Pio taught us, true faith is unshakable and eternal. May the light of his holiness illuminate our path and prepare us for the challenges that lie ahead. Amen.